All right, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do tostones. You start off with a platano, room temperature, and uh, a knife like this one. You want to cut up the ends, see? Cut up the ends for you. Cut it up in half, and then you see, like, you have to find the longest line, the the straightest line, straightest uh, straightest side. You see. So I'm going to choose this side right here. So then you have to do like this. And you want to go like that, and then you just use your thumb. And voila! You saw? Alright, so cut it up like this and then it'll get nice and easy. Use your thumb. This one's like semi sweet already, so. Again, find the longest length or the easiest. And you like that. your thumb to get it open like that you don't cut up any meat any meat see and then this part you can peel it off like that all done okay so here we go again so you can learn it takes practice, but you'll get it. See that one still? There we go. Gotta make sure you get it through. And... Alright, so this will be the last one, and then I'll come back with the those stones nicely cut. The plantains cut first. Alright, so be back. All right, there we go, they're, they're already uh, peeled, and now I'm gonna show you how thick you wanna cut it um, for, to do your tostones. You see my thumb? Your thumb does get a little bit black because of the chemical reaction it does with the plantains, but that's easy, you just um, use your soap sponge, uh, your dish sponge, and just Rub it in there and all set. You clean it up nicely. So, you want to do them like this. If you want them very thin, you can cut them very thin. And, or if you want them a little bit meaty, and you, you can cut them up like this, this thing. Too. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I'll be right back. All right, they're all chopped up and um, now I'm going to heat up my oil you want to heat up your oil as 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 hot as you can get it so if you can get it to like um, 450 Fahrenheit that'd be excellent all right I'm going to be using my fryer to fry my plantains and my chicken my popcorn chicken so now it's heating up. Um, I told you earlier to uh, 450 Fahrenheit. If you're gonna do it on the stove, just put it in high and be very careful that they won't burn, you know. But my um, my fryer here, he it only goes up to 374, so that's that's as high I'm, I'm gonna use it. 374, so 190 Celsius. So if you want to do it that way, and you can measure it if you're going to do it on the stove, then go ahead. So I'll be back when it's all heat, nice and heat, heated up. All right, you see, I have them all in here. I'm going to go ahead and sink it in. So you leave it in there um, until it's a little, a little toasty. 
But not, not completely burned. You gotta be careful. I say for like maybe um two to three minutes. I don't time it quite. Frankly, I just look at it. You see the the oil is nice and hot. That's what you want to get. Never ever put these plantains inside a cold uh, a cold um, oil. And same thing with the chicken or anything you're gonna fry. You never want to have the oil uh, cold because then it'll then it'll ruin your meat, your whatever you're doing. You know? So for now, so you see, I'm gonna give them a little bit more time. Almost there. So you see when it's kind of like this consistency, you want to then uh, let it strain a little bit. Okay, let it strain there and then you're going to smash it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, to smash it easier, you only need one of these. They sell it at the supermarket. I think any regular supermarket sells them to make the tostones. You smash them. You can use also um, a cup, the end of the part of a, of a cup, so if you don't have this. So now I'm going to take them out. Let them dry a little bit. Carefully. I'm going to show you real quick how to do it. Alright, when I'm done with this, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm all done uh, smashing them. So now I'm going to put them in the second time to fry. You don't want to put too much all together because then 
still got stuck together, so I think this is fine. Okay, something like this. And you put it in. Again, just always watch it, make sure it doesn't get burnt. It's very easy to make. They're almost done because they floated up sorry, to the top, you see? Alright, so that's kind of how you want it. Um, the, they were supposed to come out crunchy, but at the same time, soft in the inside. If you let it burn, it's going to be a um, hot mess. I mean, it's still edible, kind of, but it won't taste that great. So now I'm letting it, obviously, to drain, the oil to drain out. And then... Oiler. Um, then I'm going to put it over here, and then the extra oil will also go on the paper towel. So. so now I'm gonna continue this with the rest of them that I have left here, and um, I'll be back. Oh yeah, well they're a little hot like that. You can put the salt in. Some salt. If you don't like it, it's, well, you can eat it without salt as well, just depending on taste. All right, here goes my second batch, and it goes. So as you notice, when they're ready, they'll start floating up as well. That's another hint. I'll be back. You see, they're floated up, so they should be all ready to go. Let it drain, and there we go. I'll be right back. All right, they're all done. I'll take them out, and all set. Don't forget to um, either disconnect, disconnect your fryer, or turn off your stove. Either way, let it cool. Let your oil cool down and then you can uh, filter it for next use or throw it away, whichever you want. And um, if you guys put the salt as well, if you guys like my my way of doing the tostones, see how pretty they are, then please give me a like, subscribe and let me know how it went out, how it turned out for you. Enjoy!